Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, whatever sport you want to bet on, we have you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for May 9th, I invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section. And it'll, you see you have a bunch of tools here that will help you make your picks more successfully. So let's take a look at the games as we're more than a month into the Major League Baseball season now. We have some good matchups for this Sunday. Boston and Baltimore, we're not going to take a look down. Washington and the New York Yankees. The Nationals are fourth in the National League East, and the Yankees are second in the American League East. The Yankees are ice cold down at the moment, and, and the Nationals are ice cold up. You can see that in the power rankings indicator that the Yankees are at plus 27, and the Nationals are at plus 13. In the head-to-head -head matchup, you see that they have not yet played this season. Uh, you can see that the Nationals have lost their last two, and they are... Four and two over the last six, while the Yankees are winners of their last five. Domingo German is scheduled to pitch for the Yankees versus Joe Ross for the Nationals. German is two and two with a 4.32 ERA, and uh, Ross is two and two with a 4.39 ERA. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see who has been the better bet. You can see it's been German by far at plus $738, and Ross is in the positive, but he is only at plus $380. $3. Considering the over and under in this game, you can see that the Nationals are playing in games trending under the line. The Yankees are playing in games trending under the line as well. It's a good indication to bet the under on this one. If you want to look at the score prediction, you can see up here the score prediction, New York Yankees 5, Washington 4, with confidence in prediction at 56.5%. And you can go to the Z Code Sports Scores Predictor right here and check these predictions for every game for the week and you can see there is the Yankees one right here with the Yankees five to four over Washington with 56.5 percent confidence so when I mentioned the score of predictions and the confidence this is the page you would go to it's uh, scores predictor and you can put in you know uh, major league baseball for any date and any sport actually for any date and you might want to check back a little closer to the game to see if the, that confidence has changed in the prediction so what we think is going to happen here is I believe that the Yankees will find a way to win and will win at home by a slim margin. Diamondbacks and the Mets. Reds and Indians. Lots of interesting matchups. We're only going to take a look at five of them. Twins and Tigers. Here we go. The White Sox and the Royals. Two American League West, excuse me, two American League uh, Central teams will battle with the, with the same records this weekend. The White Sox are averaged down at the moment, and the Royals are burning hot. You can see the Royals have lost their last four games, so why they are burning hot is a little bit of a mystery, but they are burning hot. And the White Sox are averaged down, and they have, uh, let's see, they've alternated wins and losses over their last six, or three and three over their last six. Lucas Giolito is scheduled to pitch for the White Sox. He is 1-3 of the 4.99 ERA. And the Royals have yet to name their starting pitcher. Look at the head-to-head -head matches between the two teams. You can see that the White Sox and the Royals split their last two meetings. Look at the power ranking indicator. You can see the downward trend for Kansas City. They were at plus 23. They are down to plus 8. And the White Sox have been up and down. And they are back up to plus 21. You can see in the over and under, look at this, you can see the White Sox now are playing in games trending under the line, where for a while they were in games over the line. And the Royals are now in the opposite direction. They were trending under the line, now they are playing in games trending over the line. So because of this discrepancy there, I would avoid betting the over and under for this game. If you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see that Giolito is... A moderately uh, good bet at plus seventy-two dollars. The scores predictor has the Royals with a six to four win, with confidence in prediction at almost seventy-six percent. So that's a pretty good confidence. I will go with that. I think that the Royals will win the game. Now, if the line switches to under one and a half, then I would go the other way and pick the White Sox to cover. 
Okay, the Blue Jays and Astros. I'm not going to take a look at that one. Lots of good games here. This is a good battle here in the National League Central between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago Cubs. The Cubs are in the middle of the pack in the, in the division. The Pirates are battling to get out of the basement. However, you can see that the Pirates are burning hot as of late. And the Cubs are ice cold down. Even though the Cubs have won three out of their last four and the Pirates have lost five out of their last six. So again, it seems like a little bit of a discrepancy as far as their status goes, but that's what the status is at the moment. Neither team has uh, named their starting pitchers yet. Well, actually they have. Here's Tyler Anderson for the Pirates, excuse me. You can see here that he is 2-3 and three on the season with a 3.24 ERA. And Kyle Hendricks was a high ERA for him, 6.07, and is 2-3 and three for the Cubs. Over the long haul, though, if you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, you can see that Hendricks has been the better bet at plus $67 compared to Anderson, who's been really a terrible bet at minus $1,710. So take that into consideration. The scores predictions, though, actually has the Pirates with a 7 to 4 edge over the Cubs with a 64% confidence in the prediction. But I'm actually going to go against that. I believe that because of Hendricks being a better bet than Anderson, and Hendricks is due to, to uh, break out of his little slump that he's been in, and the Cubs are playing at home. The Cubs have a stronger team. I believe the Cubs will win and cover the spread. Mariners and the Rangers. Padres at the Giants. That's a good match, but we're not going to take a look at that. This is the one we want to look at. The battle between two teams in Los Angeles. The National League West Dodgers, defending World Series champions, and the Angels in the American League West currently in last place. The Dodgers are burning hot at the moment, even though they have lost five out of their last six. Again, this just doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense why they're burning hot, but they're only two and eight over the last 10. The Angels are averaged down at the moment. They have lost five out of their last six, and that makes sense because they've been playing poorly. The two starting pitchers have not yet been named in this matchup. Uh, you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the Dodgers have dropped way down to plus one, which is not a surprise because they haven't played very well lately, and the Angels are at plus six. Look at the head-to-head -head matchups. Two teams last played on March the 31st. Considering the over and under bet in this one, the Dodgers are playing in games trending way over the line. Angels over the line as well, so bet the over on this one. Your profit loss rate won't mean anything because the two pitchers have not yet been named. And there's his score prediction. It's prediction to be a total blowout in favor of the Dodgers with a 9-1 to one win with confidence of prediction of 76%. Now, I don't think it's going to be that big of a margin of win, but I do think the Dodgers will have enough to win and cover the spread. They will get back on track to their winning ways. And the last game we want to look at is the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. The Phillies are ice cold down at the moment. Again, that doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense because they have won their last three. The, the, the Braves are ice cold down, and they have lost four out of their last six. Aaron Nola is scheduled to pitch for the Phillies. He is 3-1 and one with a 2.89 ERA, and the Braves have not yet named their starting pitcher. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you see the Phillies are on the upward trend here at plus 25. The Braves were down at plus 1. They have gone back up as well, but they're only at plus 9. Head-to-head -head matchup so far this season. The teams have played quite a bit, and the Phillies have won four out of the first six, sweeping the first three, and then the Braves won two out of the last three. Look at the pitcher profit oscillator. You can see that Aaron Nola has not been a very good bet at minus $292. And that might be part of the reason why this score indication is the way it is. The score prediction is for the Braves to win 7-3 to three without 65% confidence. I believe the Braves will probably come away with a home win, but I don't think it's going to be by that big of a margin. I picked the Braves to win and cover if the line is under two. Check to see what the line is going to be. But, excuse me, if the line is two, I pick the Phillies to cover. I think it's going to be a one-run game. So the Braves will have to be, you know, a pick them or at a plus half run. But if it's anything more than that, I think the Phillies will cover the spread. So there you have it. Those are the games for this weekend, May the 9th. Enjoy, happy betting, and we will see you next time.